Hey bro, take it easy man, take it easy, alright. You're doing good job, what we want is fine to be neutral, okay? So let's get down once again. Now chest up, chest up, chest up, good job, let's lift. Awesome, well my hair. This is what you want, okay? Good job. Alright guys, a common mistake that we get to see in the gym is about lifting too much heavy weight and without any preparation or the warm up. Let's look into it detail, that lift. Alright, so we got a specific video which speaks about the mobility, flexibility and the warm up. So make sure that you go and check that video out before we move on to any of the major movements. So let's go. So what does deadlift do? It majorly works and strengthens the lower back, the glutes, at the same time pretty much to complete the lower limbs. Now if you're lifting heavy weights, definitely you have to engage pretty much whole body to create the movement. So that's the reason it's called as compound movements, okay? It gets you a humongous amount of benefits. So as we spoke about squats, similar manner, you want to include deadlifts into most of the workouts. All right, let's have a look how do we perform deadlifts. So the feet is directly under the hips, not too wide, not too narrow. Can you bring a little close? Awesome. So this is the distance that we look forward for. So kind of a hip distance down to the bottom. All right, let's go. So now on the bar, we're going to keep a thumb distance or a bit more wide. Pick it up. Make sure that when you lift the bar up, you want to have this bar in your palms and not in your fingertips. So fingertips cannot create strength, so it has to be in your palms, tight and strong. So, can you create some of them? Good. This is good one. Why don't you pause the bottom in the next rep, okay? Down. So this is the range now. So this is the tibialis anterior. We're going to bring the bar to the middle of it, okay? Imagine you have a plate on the bar, we will show it to you later. Then the probably the plate will touch the floor. Bring it up. Good now. As you finish, one of the few things that you're looking forward in the finish is that your shoulders shoulder is retracted, stabilized, retracted fully. Your elbows are fully straight. The palm still stays firmly in your in your hands, in your palms. Down again. Great job. Can you can you perform a wrong wrong deadlift, a round spine kind of stuff? All right. So general mistake that we do that the spine get too rounded kind of thing. What you can see exactly right now. That put the disc away from each other, a huge amount of injuries into the disc. So what we need to do is that we want to make sure that this is the lower doses that you maintain. We want to maintain the arch in your back, whatever that you do. Probably you're lifting, you're finishing the movement, we want to maintain this. Now to get that down, we want to make sure that the scapulas are pulled back all the way to create that nice tension into the spine and create more movements. Let's go. So alright, so you can see that as, in, uh, as she goes down, she's creating a bit of flexion on the hips, on the knees to create that smooth spine. Good job, let's go. Alright, next stop. Stop, put down. Let's look into it how to put weight on the bar. Now imagine that you, you're, you're adding weight up, so make sure that you do enough of warm up before you get onto the weight section of the deadlifts. Do nice static and dynamic stretches. Then after that, you're coming and taking the bar, which is approximately, if the Olympic bar, 21 kgs. Do some about one or two sets, which is going to be a nice warm up for you guys. Your muscles and the mind are almost pretty much coordination starts, you know, then you can create much more smoother movements, much more better movements. So when you go towards the bar, we want to make sure that, all right, let's look about how do you lift something from the floor. So you want to make sure that you sit down, keep the neutral spine, pick that thing up and come up. General mistake that we do that, we end up bending forward and we pick it up this way. Similar thing what you spoke about deadlifts earlier, that's a common mistake that we do and end up injuring or hurting the back. So make sure that you sit down lower to the floor, pick that up. When you go towards the bar, you're going to stand up, put the bottom plate. So you're going to keep the bar up, pick it up. Now make sure that you pick the bar up a bit up higher. You remove it this way. You, when you're pushing it up, pick the bar up, it's not in contact with the floor. Put that plate into it. When you pick that off, when you remove it, pull that plate lightly high up toward the ceiling and just pull it off lightly. Cool? Both the side. Let's go. Can you add up that now? So as you have the body done with the warm-up, about a, one or two sets as I said after the warm-up, after the kind of nice stretch done, but we have, we've got the plates on the bar, making sure they're done with the warm-up. Come distance or a bit wider than that. Up, up. It's enough. Let's go, one. So that's perfect deadlifts, neutral spine, you can see that. She's creating nice flexion in the knees and the, and the glutes. And coming up, we got the back pretty much clear, everything is in place. 
As you come up and stand up, you want to keep the chin nice and neutral. Look into this, look in the mirror or an object in the front of yours. All right, good job. Awesome, heck. All right, guys, that's all about deadlifts. If you're familiar with the movement, you got already confident about the movement, keep adding weight up. So you've got one rep max, we got, you can do endurance based more repetitions. But if you're doing something with like one rep max or doing very less repetitions with the heavy weight, definitely heavy weight lets you incorporate more of muscle fibers, which means more results. So you definitely want to do those kind of movements and patterns. But I want to make sure that before you get onto that movements, you have a clear spine and enough flexibility and mobility into the muscles and joints that you can perform correct movement. So stay tuned with that till the next video comes on the channel. And the good thing is about we've got videos on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Three videos coming up on HIIT, nutrition and why do we do such kind of things? Why do we want to get results and why do we get results? So information which is based on true things. So stay tuned with us and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Thank you.